hello everyone today i am going to put together this uh, ladder climbing system and the zip lining system uh, with this uh, gliding system so all the projects will work together so that's the demonstration of gliding system and here the character can climb to and then zip lines so all three mechanisms works together and i worked on gliding system as a separate tutorial in this project uh, in this tutorial so i'll put the link in the description and i worked on this putting together the zip lines and ladders mm -hmm. in this episode uh, so i'll put that link also in the description and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me so in this project my character can glide like this um, i can maneuver also while in the air uh, and in this project this is a separate project that we worked on recently here we can do this uh, this ladder character can uh, climb the ladder get down on ladder so basically we have such mechanisms so and also the zip line system so I'm going to put this both projects in into the same character so that we can uh, use the same mechanisms all together right so let me first go here and open the character I have used here which is the third person character of course the default one and here we have this uh, glide actually what we are doing is changing its scale this is not animated one I wanted it to simply represent the glide um, and additionally we only have this wait let me check let's open the character in here as well <clears throat> yeah, here we have some couple more variables and gliding is the only additional variable we have here in the gliding character and in the tick we have this if we are gliding we add some moment inputs and also we have this of course this gliding action and some couple of, couple of custom events so first let me migrate this glide object uh, for the hanging uh, animation i think i can use the same animation i have used for the zip line when we hang on the zip line let me migrate this glide object into the zip line project right and let me just create this uh, gliding blueprint oh uh, no actually we don't need to copy that yeah uh, but we can copy this right uh, where I, how is it attached Oh, it was attached to the mesh okay sorry select the mesh and paste mm -hmm. put it under mesh and what's the local the scale 0 0.3 0 0.1 0 0.2 and everything zero 
this needs to be zero oh wait we have attached to a glide socket all right we haven't created a socket in the other project so let's create one let me first check where is the glide socket it's under spine 3 let me copy copy these are but we can copy the relative location and rotation let me copy that oh wait first we need to create the socket let me open the skeleton and display three let's add a socket rename it applied socket under details now copy from other project right now attach this to glide socket okay now everything seems fine right now let's implement the required input actions for the glide in so first let's add the input action which is glide and we are using left shift left shift okay now we should be able to copy right let me just select uh, this outer node and paste right now everything is there um, do we have any errors now let's see yeah we need to create this gliding variable compile okay for gliding we need a different camera bow yeah let me copy this component it's attached to the capsule itself yeah right compile now there is go great and one more thing in the gliding project and uh, the event tick we have this part if we are gliding so let me collapse that 
into a node write in let's call it gliding or oh, wait let's call it gliding tick and so yeah let's add another output from this part uh wait let's set two outputs like this if you are not gliding another output let's call this not gliding and first execution output gliding right compile copy this and go back to the zip lines project zip lines and ladders uh, now where's the tick here okay if one ladder so we have another output here This is on ladder and let's have another output from this false pin a different uh, execution pin let's call it no ladder right now here let's paste the gliding tick and let's connect it to no ladder right now shall we check okay it is working basically but looks like there are some issues But I think this add force part is the one that causes problems. Uh, let me add a print here and print this uh, is it force. Oh yeah, that's the one that keeps increasing. Mm -hmm. Right, so I think I uh, adding a clamp to this part get to velocity bar between minus 10 and plus 1 uh, I think because the direction is all we need here that should solve that abnormal speed issue let's see yeah now it only okay but still we have to fix some issues because in the original gliding it's it have a much slower rotation rate here and also glide is also changing uh, I think I have done some changes in the character moment AR control one And fly in max fly speed is like this. So I'll copy these values. Max fly speed is 1200 and air control to 1. Oh, sorry. did some changes in the input yeah here yeah. if we are gliding we don't add any move forward or move right inputs 
okay we need to do that in the other project branch gliding do this only if we are not gliding add movement inputs only if we are not gliding uh, right now it works fine the only thing now we need to change is the yeah, first let me make this larger so that we have much more space to glide and uh, the hanging animation we need to change it into the hanging animation oh, how does that work here let me open up and see the animation blueprint Oh, it's just a montage we don't have anything so are we playing any montage in the gliding Ah, uh, here yeah, we have play any montage, but we do. Uh, we need the. Let's play the hanging montage. Oh, this part is actually not connected. Let me remove it then. Right, now it looks much better. Okay. Let me remove this print and we are done. Now both gliding and ladder and zip lines works together. Now, oh. Let me start from here and do some gliding. Cool. Right. Okay, ladder works. And zip lines are also working. All right, so with that, I'd like to stop this episode. And as always, project files will be available. For the download in the patreon page and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye